Hello everybody, welcome to Zombie Co Gaming. For this video, we are going to be starting the beginning cinematic and cutscenes for Dragon Age DLC, Jaws of Hecon. Okay, so as we see on the unlock table there, we've unlocked this new area, and we're going to go ahead and accept the report here. And it'll actually give you the option to venture into it directly, so we'll do that right now. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you. Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. The texts say that Inquisitor Emeridan was a dragon hunter who vanished on his last expedition. Yes. Precisely. I see you've read Lautrec's Precursors to the Chantry. Inquisitor Emeridan stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. If the last Inquisitor has been missing for 800 years, it's only fitting that today's Inquisition helped find him. Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Emeridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the Basin better than we do. I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. See you soon, Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Lady Har <clears throat> I mean, Scout Harding has an impressive team. Her people brought back a number of artifacts. If you need something tracked, Scout Harding is your woman. If only it were that easy. After 800 years, we can't just look for tracks. Barring enchantment, cloth and leather will have long since rotted away. Only metal and stone remain recognizable. Complicating this are recent pieces the Avar left behind. And, of course, ancient pieces dating back to Tevinter. Fortunately, thanks to some period-specific buckling, I've been able to track our last Inquisitor. You said there were pieces dating back to Tevinter? Yes. While it's rare to see Tevinter ruins so far south, the Imperium once had an outpost of some sort here. They might have built it as a, a ritual site. I'm not sure what military value it could have. In any event, it's muddled up the research slightly, but I've accounted for it. You lost me at buckling. You'd think that a buckle was a buckle. But ever since people started belting on weapons, they've been adding bits. One piece here has a dragon engraving. With the alloys of the metals used, it's clearly Tevinter. While this one uses a clasp that wasn't invented until the dawn of the Olesian Empire. And when it comes to historical research, you might say we have to buckle down. <laughs> what do you have, Professor? Everything so far points to the shore, not far to the south. There was some sort of battle near the shoreline. They were in a hurry. The scouts reported an island near an Avar fishing camp. But the Avar won't say much about it. What makes you think the last Inquisitor was fighting? There's a clasp here common to armor links. It's clearly torn. 
That only happens from a heavy shearing blow, like large claws or an axe. Then there's the dagger. Silverite, with a stylized dragon pommel and an inscription reading Cordillus. That dagger had to be a gift from Cordillus Dracon, first emperor of Orlais. No one would just <laughs> lose such a thing. What can you tell me about the Avar fishing camp? Not much. It's the friendly Avar. Not these jaws of Hakon barbarians. According to the scouts, they wouldn't say much about the area. Likely a local superstition. I'll find a way to that island and see if there's anything useful there. Excellent. I'll continue to study what's been found. With luck, we'll both find some answers. Also, one of my research assistants, Colette, was investigating an old structure to the north. I'm not certain it's related to our investigation, but it couldn't hurt to check with her. All right, everybody, that'll do it for the opening portion of the Jaws of Hakon DLC. Make sure to check out the next part where we make our way to the island. Thanks for watching, guys, and good gaming.